Okay, so we have number 114. This is Nadar raising photography to the height of art, and it is satire done by Honoré Daumier. It was created in 1862, and uh, it's about 11 inches by 17 inches. And this is a probably one of the last printmaking techniques we'll talk about. This is a lithograph, uh, and so. Damier came to Paris from Marseille in 1816 and studied drawing and learned the technique of lithography as an assistant to a printmaker. So lithography is a little bit different than all the other um, printmaking we've been talking about. First of all, it's a stone drawing. It's based on the natural an antagonism between oil and water. When a stone-like surface is first wiped with water and then an oil-based ink is applied, the artist will draw on a flat stone surface using a greasy crayon-like instrument, which will then adhere to the greasy areas but not the damp ones. After a series of steps, a sheet of paper is then laid face down on the ink stone, pressed together with a scraper, and then rolled through a flat bed press. This transfers the ink to paper, thus making lithography a direct method of creating a printed image. The design can be easily transferred from the original print form to additional stones, allowing for large rapid print addition. And this technique is widely used in France for fine art prints and to illustrate uh, newspapers and magazines. Artists could use this process to create their own prints without the time-consuming and expensive intermediary of using an engraver. And by the end of the 19th century, prints are owned by people of all levels of society because unlike earlier prices, grease-based lithography allows the artist to capture the subtleties of drawing with crayon and liquid mixture. And it's a uh, lithographs were used by many different artists, including Goya, Jericho, Delacroix, Damier, who this is in, and also Toulouse Lautrec. Uh, Damier is definitely the biggest artist to use lithography in the 19th century, and he will begin producing images to be published in a satirical and anti-monarchist pro-republican magazine in the wake of the July revolution in 1830. There was a relaxation of censorship after the uh, revolution of 1830, so this opens the door to a flood of illustrated pamphlets. And Damier in 1831 was uh, engaged by a great publicist, Charles Philippon, a cartoonist for a newly found journal of political satire called La Caricature. This launched him on a career of 40 years as a comic artist to a weekly press, during which he drew almost 4,000 lithographs before the onset of blindness he experienced in the 1870s that will put an end to his work. The initial target of his attacks was the government of King Louis Philippe, which he ridiculed as a corrosive uh, force that brought with him the notice of the press police and earned him a jail term of six months in 1832. After 1835, there were laws passed that said Frenchmen had the right to circulate their opinions in published forms, but that drawings were such an incitement to action that complete liberty in this medium was no longer permitted. So after that, his drawings are more humorous and less political. He nevertheless continued to draw for La Caricature and for another of Philippon's journals called La Sabraveri, which developed in the heat of weekly combat, a graphic style of unsurpassed brilliance in the art that in France had little prestige with only a brief history compared to the English tradition that boasted such ancestors such as William Hogarth with the um, uh, Marriage All and Mode series. Uh, within this piece, in particular, we are seeing Damier doing a satire of Nadar. Nadar was um, a photographer who is going to 
take aerial photographs of Paris from a hot air balloon. And uh, so this is based on a true event. Um, and uh, photography was still seen very early in its advance at this time. Many people looked down on photography, didn't think of it was as an art. It needed to be exposed and developed while chemical coatings were still wet, meaning that photographers had to carry portable dark rooms to develop their prints immediately after exposure. So Nadar here is lampooning the difficulties of the method and the uncertainty but growing status of photography. So um, that's the purpose of this was to satirize uh, Nadar taking photographs while in a hot air balloon. And it also is a, is a, a satirization of the fact that he didn't think photography was an art. And so that's what the function of this piece was. Um, but you could see here the different ways that lithography is used and then how it mirrors the colors down here. So, okay, so that's Nadar rising photography to the height of art.